Osiris. What's going on, everybody? This is The Drop. I am RJ, your host. Um, I'm live today with Cody Dickinson. Hey, Cody. How are you? Hey, doing very well. What's going on, RJ? Just, you know, it's Friday. Um, we got, I'm here in Philadelphia. We got a, we got Goose in town tonight at the Man Music Center, which I'm super stoked awesome. about. So, you know, it's a good, good Friday afternoon here, here, almost, yeah, just afternoon here. I know you're in, you're in New York and, and we're here to talk about your new album, um, your first solo album called Homemade. But um, we were just, before we started, you were talking about the show last night. Tell us about, uh, about these shows you're doing this weekend. Absolutely. So we played Port Chester last night at Garcia's, uh, which is a beautiful venue connected to the Capitol Theater there. And obviously so much history in the building and just an incredible um, environment, you know, but we had an awesome show. The audience was so fun. Everybody at the uh, everybody at the venue was so cool, man. You know, Josh and Nate, man, they just it sounded good. It sounds great in there. Um, yeah. But so it's Cody Dickinson and the Homemade Band, right? And it's uh, it features Aubrey McCready on slide guitar. Um, he's my good friend um, from Mississippi. We were actually neighbors for a long, long time. And um, but he plays in Memphis a lot. He plays on Beale Street, man, just a killer blues musician. And uh, and then the rhythm section are some young guys from New York. Um, uh, Will Bart. Uh, from, he has a band called Johnny in the Basement and Jagger Sauce on drums, man. Just killer, man. These guys awesome. are killers. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. And and you're you're doing a few shows this weekend, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We play tomorrow night at Albany in Albany. And um, with this is the end of like a 10-day, almost two-week run. Last week, we were opening for the Mavericks. Okay. Which is incredible, man. What a fantastic band and just a awesome i mean we played count basie theater and just some beautiful venues um and we we're just so thrilled to, to to be out with them and that was a great great run that's really great that's great to hear i'm glad i'm glad um and so i guess you know this is your first solo album and and you've you've been making music for a really long time um, yeah what 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 made you what made you want to long an album long time man <laughs> ooh, 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 i mean how wide is the screen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How how long? How um? Uh, what made you do it now? You know, man. Um, uh, it was. Uh, I got married, mm -hmm. my beautiful wife Michelle, and we had babies. You know, and yep. man, I started a family. And my, I mean, you know, all the cliches are true times a thousand. It is the most incredible, life changing thing. Um that by far that has ever happened to me and yeah. just the like uh all the unconditional love and stuff is is true and uh but there's also this like awesome responsibility that comes along with it and then man emotional attachment you know like things just that i'd never like it's just uh just, just these overwhelming feelings of, of love and and um i was inspired clearly by that um and I also was, I was home because I was, um, starting my family and that offered me, you know, time is one of our greatest gifts, you yeah, know? And yeah. so I had time, I had time to write and to really reflect on what was going on in my life. And I had something to write about, you know, um, it was easy. It just, you know, the songs kept coming and, um, it just felt like a complete collection of work. There was a common theme throughout, which was home, you know, basically, and, um, uh, the, my kids, man, you know, as they got older and as I was recording the record, like I would usually I'd work early in the morning, like before when everyone's still asleep, I get up three, 4 AM sometimes, you know, and like write and, and start, uh, like tracking the songs. And, uh, my kids would wake up and like my daughter Mavis, she would come into the room and sit in my lap when I was doing the vocals and like singing stuff on the mic and that made it on the record, you know? So that was my inspiration, man. It was just, it was, ve it's very much a family um uh uh family inspired home homemade narrative you know yeah makes sense that's cool and i i read that you were balancing two toddlers uh while you were putting this this record together yes yeah my boy ozzy uh he just turned two 
and my daughter Mavis is three going on four. Um, and, uh, I started writing the record, I think right around the time she was born and started recording it, I guess when she was about six months, maybe a year, you know, and, um, you know, man, it's just it's just so great. I, I'm talking about them a lot right now because I've been on tour for almost two weeks and yeah. just missing them so much, man. But I get to go home in a couple of days and and it'll be it'll be sweet, man. It'll be great. So it, people who are watching live or listening to the podcast after this, so you're playing Albany. Is Albany tonight? Yes. So Albany on Friday, and then where else are you playing? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, tonight is a is a travel day. And, Tonight's a travel um, day. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm outside of Port Chester right now, and okay. then tomorrow uh, we're gonna play the Hollow in Albany. Awesome, awesome, great. And, and then man, you're, and then you're heading back. Please come check out the band. The band is on fire. I mean, the homemade band. I'm telling you, man, these guys can play. It's incredible. Like I got these young musicians, man. They just they put a fire under me. I'll tell you what, man. I'm just like listening and trying to hold on. They're really fantastic, you know. That's uh, great. Bands are bands are really interesting, man, because it's such a it's such a unspoken sort of uh, communication that you have, and you know, chemistry and is is a lot for lack of a better word is, is is such a big part of it. You know, it's like intuition and being able to see where people are going and where and like and common uh, sort of like um, it's it's just like uh, commonality, you know, like a, a shared. Um, uh, tastes you know what i mean and and like and it's it's a language you know like uh aubrey the, the lead guitar player the slide guitar player and i like we're improving lead uh melodies and harmonies on the spot you know i shouldn't say it because i don't want to jinx it man but, like, that's what's going on like we're coming we're writing unison parts and harmonies on like live it's just yeah, in, in my opinion you know it's like the most exciting thing you know to happen at a show you know, it's like the opposite of like playing to a track and having everything, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Right. We're creating <laughs> right, moments, right. you know? Right. So, so you've been playing music for a long time and I, I know yeah. that like the long, your... man, long <laughs> time, bro. Like wait, how, how far can you? Yeah. 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 That long. How, so you've been, but, and you, you started with most well known for the North, North Mississippi all-stars and like that is probably your. I know you've done a ton of stuff in, in film and, and all kinds of stuff, but. Oh, thanks. Yeah, man. But how is it different, like getting into something with a totally different group of musicians? Like, are you used to that or was it, did it take some, some work to get used to that? Yeah. I mean, you know, shoot. Uh, I play, man, one of the great true gifts, man, in, in, my, in my life is just I'm just surrounded by incredible musicians, you know, and so many of my friends and family, like my brother's one of the, you know, I'm biased, but he's like one of the best guitar players on the planet, dude, you know, like yeah. he, Luther Dickinson is my brother and he's just like ridiculous, man, and a great songwriter and singer and, and all that stuff. So super spoiled like that, you know, I'm just used to it and um um, and that's just been an amazing gift, man. You know, and of course I play like with the Almond Betts, you know, band that we do the yeah. family revival. So I get to play with Devin Allman and play their music with, you know, of course, um, Dwayne Betts, uh, who's an incredible artist, a dear friend of mine. And I just love his record that he, uh, they, the Palmetto Motel and his band. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So freaking killer, man. But like, so I, I, you know, in my professional life, I ship gears a lot, you know, like I have my band, the North Mississippi All-Stars, and that's sort of, you know, uh, been very consistent in my career for a long, for decades now. Uh, but I'm always, you know, like you mentioned, I, I work in film and I co-produce a film series called Take Me to the River um, with my buddy Martin Shore, um, who's an incredible film director and just cool dude, great musician. So I've kind of got my hats. I wear a lot of hats and uh, I like to stay. Uh, I like to diversify, man, and, and you know, uh, keep my creativity flowing different, at, you know, as, 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 as much as possible, you know. Um, so I'm always doing different things. But to answer your question, man, it was it was it's super fun doing this because it's very um like uh, my different projects and different bands that like I have like the word with Robert Randolph. We play gospel music, you know, the North Mississippi yeah, all-stars play Hill yeah. country blues. And, um, you know, my films are um, 
they're, they're specific and they take deep dives and like cultural studies and, and on music and communities and stuff. But this, the Cody Dickinson, like homemade band is whatever, man. You know, it's like, I just have mm-hmm. complete freedom. It's like this incredible creative. It's like, so it is liberating in that way. It's like, I can, yeah. just, we can just, you know, literally go up and make it up as we go. We can do whatever we want. And that's really like my favorite. I, well, I shouldn't say my favorite, but it's what's been really exciting about this. But sorry, that's a very long winded no, no answer. <laughs> it's a, it's not hard, man. It hasn't been hard at all. It, it, the most difficult thing was memorizing all the lyrics because I have a, yep. like ten new songs, and you know I'm walking on stage, and you know so there's a bit of a recital type vibe to making sure that. I remember that third verse after that long solo yep. and I'm like thinking about notes and you walk up to the mic, you're like, Oh, you know, so <laughs> that's the hardest thing. But, uh, but I like that too. That's a good challenge. The memorization, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you brought up the word. Um, I remember when that came out in 2001, I think. Um, yeah, man. And that, that was just like a whole different uh, sound. It just like blew, it, I think it blew my mind uh, and that, and a lot of other people. I mean, it's just, you know, hearing, hearing you guys with, with Robert and Medeski and man, just a really awesome, awesome group. Do you guys still stay in touch and play? Absolutely, man. Thank you, RJ. Yeah. I love it too, man. The word is, pff, it's powerful, man. Sacred steel yeah. music is just beautiful. You know, like the slide guitar, um, being like a voice and like, uh, you know, those, those, like the gospel, like melodies and the, and, and the runs, uh, it's just so expressive and, and beautiful. And Robert is, a, a just a super talent clearly, you know, um, and a prodigy, frankly. And yeah. like when we started playing together, man, it's like, I was just hanging on. I'm just trying to keep up, man. And Medeski, man, a musical genius, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But currently, the word is we, we're recording new music. We have some new stuff. We have probably about half a record worth, uh, half an album worth of new music. But John is just, John Medeski has been very, very busy. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, uh, he, he's, I forget what all he's doing, man. He's playing with Warren Haynes. He's in Warren yeah. Haynes' new band. Yeah. Um, he's also, he's, I saw that he's been playing with Jocko Pastorius's son. Uh, yeah. Felix. His, yeah. Felix Pastorius yeah. and, uh, yeah. and Keith Carlock or whatever his name is like the baddest drummer on the scene. Like a uh, Keith, I think he plays for, it's actually a Mississippi guy, but he plays for, um, Steely Dan and stuff. Yeah. Keith yeah. Carlock for you drummer cats out there. If you haven't heard him, man, check him out. But anyway, so John's busy. John's killing it, you know? So yeah. I honestly, he's almost always in new Orleans for jazz fest. He wasn't there this year. You know, he's, 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 he's just, uh, killing it, you know? So yeah, we'll catch yeah. up with him when he, when he, you know, when the time's right, I guess. That's great. That's awesome. Um, so d- this album, which I got to listen to and, uh, you know, like I, I mentioned, hopefully that it, I, I've already mentioned that if I didn't, um, it came out on last Friday, the 21st, um, it's called homemade. You can find it wherever you, wherever you listen. Um, thank the you. Styles. Arthur. Yeah, of course. I, the styles are all over the place in this album yeah. in a good way. Like you, you're hitting on a lot of different, just a lot of different styles of music. Just curious totally. how you approached, how you approached that and whether you wanted to, you know, uh, like whether it wanted you wanted it to be touching on so many different kind of genres and influences, or if that's just right. how the is that just how it, how it worked? Well, going back to what I was saying earlier, like this is my this is my freedom project. You know, this mm-hmm. is where I get to truly express myself without being like genre specific and like you know like that that get, that gets very uh, exhausting as an artist. You know what I mean? It's like I, I understand that people have lanes and they. Uh, master those lanes and there's a lot Mm -hmm. to be said for that but man i just started writing music and the i let the music take me um on a journey you know and that dictates what the genre will be on any given song and um i'm just very much an open book in that way you know i i I, there were a couple of songs on the record, like Walk Right In, for example. I was It was intentional. I was like, okay, this is going to be a blues song. Um, it was inspired by my uh, my buddy Matthew, who's in GA20, who plays with uh, – he for years he played with um, uh, Charlie Musselwhite. He was a guitar player. But okay. uh, he just has this kind of swagger and like this cool like style. And I was like, man, I'm going to write like I'm Matthew. And like uh, I just kind of um, – but it was like – I was like, this is going to be a blues song. This is going to be Boogie Woogie yeah. Blues. you know. And that was intentional. Um, and then like homemade blues, the song homemade blues, 
uh, I actually rewrote. It was a slow, like melancholy type, really deep ballad with all these like crazy weird chords and stuff. And I was like, I'm going to simplify this and just turn it into like a hill country blues song. Mm -hmm. So there was some intent in the direction of the record, but for the most part, man, I really enjoy just, uh, playing all different kinds of music. And, um, I played all the instruments on the record, which is kind of crazy. Like every note of the music you hear, like I played like, um, yeah. So that, uh, uh, that's a interesting part of the process too, which is like, uh, I'm just, uh, I like to keep the recording loose because I'm self-producing. So I don't like really dwell on the parts and the, and the performances so much. I really just try to get a inspired performance and keep it, um, not fix it and not edit it too much. And I also like to jam the songs out at the end. It's like, I play the song and once the structure's done, yeah. and I've gotten the, the, the sentiment. I just let it keep going. And a lot of times <laughs> the songs, you know, I leave it on the record and they just fall apart, man. They just like implode, you know? And, and I love that, you know, it's, yeah. just, it's just fun. You know, the, the, the easy answer is, man, this is just me having fun. And, and yeah. like, um, it's, it's not super calculated or anything, you know? Yeah. 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 That's, that's cool. That's a great way to be. Um, Thank you, man. Thanks. What, um, what, how have the, uh, how have the album songs kind of evolved live, if at all? Man, that's a good question. They have taken on a life of their own, man. You know, like it's, it's incredible. It is so fun. I did have that in mind when I was writing. Um, I wanted to like meaning performing on stage. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to, there are a couple of songs on the record that we don't do live just because they're, um, uh, they're just so expansive, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but we're doing the, uh, seven or eight songs off the record live and, and it's so exciting, uh, to see them come to life like that. You know, it was, um, it was the one the, the cohesive side of the project was that they do stand alone in that I knew when I was writing them, like, this is a separate piece of work. I was like, this, mm -hmm. this is going to be a standalone project. That's going to be its own album, you know? Yeah. And, and the songs did kind of lyrically have, uh, some, some threads and some, you know, some, uh, continuity. Right. Yeah. Uh, conceptually, yeah. you know, which is yeah. basically home, you know, again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Well, I love listening to it. Um, and so, you know, thanks for sharing it with us and for chatting Absolutely, with me about it. Brother. What, My pleasure. What, what happens? What happens with this this group of musicians after the tour? Well, we're uh, we're going to take some time off in July and we're going to regroup in August. Uh, we're looking at a West Coast run. Awesome. And um, we're going to tour through uh, November as well. I think. September is still wide open, but then uh, we have a uh, time allotted in November. And yeah, man, this this group is 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 really uh, it's special, man. And um, it just I, the potential for growth is insane. You know, my next uh, I'm, I'm you know uh, thinking out loud here, but I, my next move is going to be to get these guys in the studio mm -hmm. and you know write a handful of new songs and just go in and with a bit of a different approach where it'll be. Uh, you know, I won't be playing all the instruments, praise God, and it'll be more of a collaborative effort. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. So I'm super excited about the next record. We might do some live recording too, man. These guys are really good. Yeah. That's yeah. excellent. That's so Thank cool, you, man. man. <laughs> well, congrats, congrats on the album and thanks for taking like a minute to, to talk with us about it. I, I hope that people can come out and in, in Albany tomorrow. Um hopefully a couple of people listening to this might might be able to come and check it out. I I think it sounds sounds like an awesome time. Ah, thank you for sharing, uh, sharing the music and spreading the joy, man, and, and spreading the word. Yes, everybody, please come tell your friends, you know what I mean, and come check out the band. We'll be back next year, too. If, if you missed this this tour, we uh, definitely plan on doing hitting some festivals and, and you know, some 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 bigger looks next year. So Cody Dickinson, the homemade band. Let's go. That's awesome. Thanks, Cody. And, and thanks, You're everybody, welcome. for tuning in. We'll see you all soon. Have a good weekend, man. You too. Let's go. Service.